Hello YouTube, uh, today we'll be showing you how to overclock on the Biostar A780L3B motherboard. Um, I haven't found any videos on it myself, I had to like learn from reading about a bunch of stuff, but it's actually very simple. Just how to overclock your CPU and your RAM. So as you see here, right now, I, um, I have it at 3.6 gigahertz. the stock is 3.3. It will show 800 like when it's not under load, but wait till we restart and um, you'll see. Yeah, see, CPU AMD Athlon 2 times 3, 455. Stock speed is 3.3 gigahertz. And right here, motherboard A780 L3B. So, um, this may, this method may work on other, um, mo uh, motherboards, but not on all. So first you want to get into the BIOS. For me, it's I have to press delete on my keyboard to get into it. It may be F2, F12, or F10 on other um, motherboards. It's It varies. Alright, now that we're in the BIOS, you want to go, for this motherboard, you want to go to performance. You want to go to CPU tuning for the CPU. See, now, there's a bunch of stuff here, like, you can actually manually enable or disable cores and so on but this is all the default stuff except this this is 200 megahertz by default so you can go to 600 megahertz max but you don't need to 220 um oh yeah there's a glitch it'll say press enter to change when i press enter nothing happens so what you have to do is hold shift and the plus sign right here and watch it go up see I just overclocked it and to go down you just press the minus key now 220 is just how stable I got with my stocked cooler if I upgrade my cooler I could probably go higher at higher speeds because I've seen the CPU go higher so all you have to do is um, overclock that to your desired settings it won't tell you you have to boot into windows and um, see which ones I mean, see what speed it is. So now I'll show you how to overclock the RAM. Oops. Crap. Um. Let me go back. Oh, okay. Um. You go to DR DRAM timing configurations. And there we go. See? This motherboard it supports. My RAM is 1600 megahertz. It supports that, but you have to overclock it. See, it says OC first. By default, it's running at. See, when you put it auto, actually, by default it runs at um, 1333 megahertz. Um, so you, you want to change that to man. First, you change the memory clock mode to manual, and then you go down. You select 1600 megahertz, and that is it. So now we will boot into Windows. I'll make sure you go to Exit, Save Changes, and Exit. All right. Now we now we will boot into Windows, and we will see. We open up CPU Z and see what it shows. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description, so that because it's a very helpful tool about knowing information about your PC. And then without it, I wouldn't have known I overclocked. Um, so yeah. Yeah, for gaming, uh, I don't know, it gave me a little bit of in increased performance in just some games, but very little, because it's only a 300 megahertz overclock from 3.3 gigahertz. I did overclock it to 3.8, but after like a few minutes of playing games, um, it crapped out on me and it just completely went to, like my screen like flickered and I got blue screen of death and so on like that. Alright, so, go here. CPU Z. We will open it up and we'll see what it says. If it doesn't show it at uh, 3.6, yeah, see right there, see. Now you you, you want to ignore this. Uh, the, only look at the first two numbers and put a point between them, and then that and that's your speed. So minus 3.6 gigahertz, and see the bus speed is running at 220. So hope hope this was helpful for you guys.